Hi everyone and welcome to Valley Crafty Corner. I have a, another kind of like kit review from Studio Calico. I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what I did with the card kit. Um, normally I don't get the card kit from Studio Calico and the reason why is because um, I have a lot of 6x6 papers already in um, my stash and I feel like I need to use them up. Um, I was kind of getting a little low on ideas for cards, so I was kind of hoping that if I got this card kit, I could look at the gallery and kind of get, um, you know, a good idea for making cards. And it also took um, the class, the card class, which was, um, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, it was the class for March. And that's probably the only reason why I got it. I feel like if I'm making cards all the time, all they're going to do is just sit in my stash and collect dust. And I would rather not. I mean, birthday cards is 90% of what I give out. I don't usually give out anything other than that, um, which is probably bad. But anyway, um, I thought I would show you what I have left from the kit and what I've made for it from it. So um, a lot of these cards here. Um, did not use a lot of the stuff in the kit, um, but I did try to use up as much as I could. So I'll just kind of show you the cards at first. And I have given out, um, I think about two or three of these so far. Uh, so there's this card here. So of course this didn't really use any supplies. And it came with this, uh, actually I'll show you the stamp set too first. This is the stamp set that you got with the class. And to me, this was worth it just in itself. I really like this stamp set for cards. So that was plus. Um, the minus for me for the class was unless you've made cards before, like if you were a newbie and totally beginner at making cards, I think you would probably have gotten a little lost because the instructions for the cards were very lacking. Let's just say that. Um, I don't didn't find that the instructions were all that great, but I could look at the card and kind of get a feel for how they finished off the card. Uh, but I've been making cards for quite a long time, so I could kind of get a feel for how to finish the card off. Um, so if you were kind of a beginner, I would say skip out on the class for the cards if they have this particular class again. I think it was called Happy Mail is I think what it was called. So anyway, that was the um, that was all that you got in the kit was just the stamp or the class that was just the stamp set. So I made this card and this one and this one's going out to my boss who just had some heart issues and she's at home resting and recuperating. So that one's going to her. And then this card was using quite a few supplies from the kit. Um, this one the only piece that I used from the kit was this paper here obviously. Um, this one didn't use any supplies from the kit. This one used some. This one wasn't from the class and this one wasn't from the class. These ones were I just kind of copied off of Pinterest or off of the gallery. So as I'm going through I'll kind of show you which ones I did from the class. This one was from the class. So nothing was from the, the um, kit, just the twine from my stash. Other than that, it's pretty plain. This one was from the class. This one was from the class, and I really like this one. This one turned out really cool. Uh, this one was from the class as well, and I buggered up here. I dropped my pen. Uh, when I finished coloring the cake, so that was my fault, but it turned out pretty cool. Uh, then this one was from the class as well. This one was from the class, and I used this washi tape from the kit. Uh, this one was from the, the class, and I just used some scrap paper for my stash because the papers that were in the kit didn't really go. Because it was a wedding card, and I know there's a blueprint in um, the card kit, but I will earn the yeah in the studio calico card kit. But I wanted something a little softer because it's a wedding card. And then there was this one, and again I used some different um, 
pieces of paper other than what came from the kit. So a little different. And this is a pocket here, so you can put a gift card in there. Uh, this one is from the class, but none of these supplies uh, were in the kit, just my own stash. Uh, this one was, again, from the class. And I don't know if you can see those little stars there have sparkle on them. So everything was from my stash for that one. This one I copied off of the gallery because I really liked it. So this is from the kit, not the class. And then there's this one, which was from the class. This one that was from the class. This one that was from the class, and of course, again, I just used some papers from my own stash. This is the Fifth and Frolic 6x6. Um, this is from the class, and these are the printables that you get with it, with the class. And this one is just blank because it's opened up, and you can, um, it's got the greeting on the inside. And it just, because my cardstock isn't really all that thick, it did bleed through. This is just mist, and you just go over with a foamy brush to kind of make an ombre look. And then we had these from a few kits ago. I'm not sure if they came in this kit or not, but I thought I would make little cards to stick in them for, like, um, gift cards or something like that. So this one I made on my own, and it just flips up like that. And then this one is, I believe, my own design as well. Yeah, this one as well. So those are those. So quite a few cards I got. And um, like I said, I didn't um, use as much of the supplies as I kind of hoped I would have. Um, so for that washi tape, this is what I have left. So quite a bit left. But I'll probably use it on scrapbook supplies. I do like this yellow stripe here and this multicolor stripe there. Of course, I have the mist left over, and of course, the stamp. So I have that. Um, then, of course, the mask. And I didn't use any of these, but I'm going to put these in with uh, my Project Life, and I'll use them on that. So this is what I have left. These are the Teresa Collins um, enamel dots, so I hardly used any at all. Um, these are just some of the scraps that I have. Um, and then, of course, this just falls apart. But I do have quite a bit of the paper left. Um, that's just scraps. But I do have quite a bit of the paper. Oops. Like, I tapped into probably um, maybe six sheets. So I think I'm going to try and implement some of these into my scrapbooking. Because I already have a lot of 6x6 papers. Um, so as for the review, again, um, I don't know if I would probably get another card kit again from Studio Calico. I've seen the ones off of um, Simon Says Stamp, the ones that Christina Warner gets. And to me, I would probably go that way uh, just because you get... Uh, a bigger, like I think it's a 4 by 6 stamp set rather than that. And I never used this design as well, like at all. I don't know how you'd use it. I don't really feel it goes with anything. So I don't think, oh, my camera's going funky again. Sorry. I don't think I would probably get another card kit from Studio Calico for the price that they are. I just don't think it's worth it. Um, I might try a um, Simon Says Stamp card kit, but I'm going to try and use up some of these cards that I have here. Like, I have quite a few um, cards. So, to me, I'm, I've got, I don't know, I would say maybe 15 to 20 cards here. And I don't think I would probably... Um, get another card kit until I use up quite a few of these. So that's just my own preference of, you know, how I see a card kit is. I feel I should use these up first before 
I kind of go into any other card kit because I just don't, I just don't do cards very often. Um, so that's kind of my take on a Studio Calico card kit. If, if anybody, like this is just my opinion. If people like the card kit, by all means, um, you're probably doing more with it than what I am. Um, or making cards on a continual basis and can kind of see the patterns and see how to make them work. But for me, um, this card kit just didn't work. Um, so with that being said, um, that's the review of the kit. Again, totally opinionated. Um, uh, don't think this is any reflection of Studio Calico because I love their scrapbooking kits. Um, I just wouldn't get the card kit again. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave it below and I will be glad to help you out. Have a great day. Bye.